Hello YouTube and welcome to another short tax loss unboxing video. I got here the brand new Honor 7 smartphone. Yes, I was at the launch party, at the European launch party of the Honor 7 in London a couple of weeks ago, but they did not have any test devices. So now they are being sent out and I've already checked it because I wanted to know the color. I got the fantasy silver color. There's also a light gray color and I've just uh, noticed that the package has been already opened. I assume the marketing PR firm is checking uh, if the devices are okay. And I don't got uh, the European version but the, um, for retail in mainland China only. So I got the Chinese version here uh, which is uh, almost identical to the European version uh, but there's a difference in the LTE 4G band. Uh, not all of the German LTE uh, bands are supported. So uh, let's open it up and figure out what our first impression of the device. And there we go, wide front side and you can see it, it's a big device. 5.2 inch display and let's get it out. Uh, let's put it aside. Ooh, nice, nice. Really, really, really nice first or second impression after London. And let's open it up. So we got some documents here. And they're empty. No documents here in this in this review unit. No. But we got our SIM card tray opener. Uh, we got one charger, I assume. Let's check it out. Yes, there's our charger. And it's white. White sm smartphone, white charger. This is nice. Huawei is on it. And we got an output of 5 volt, 2 ampere. Let's put this aside. And the second thing we got is our, I guess, our USB cable. Yes, also white or a little bit white grayish I assume and it's a USB to to not to USB-C but to micro USB so the Honor 7 got still a micro USB port and first impression a little bit heavy but keep in mind it's a full aluminium body device so and the aluminium frame here feels really 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 nice this is this is really a nice it's a it's a light heavy device um, but it feels I think you get the feeling of, of healing something of having something solid something of a, a well-built quality in your hands at least uh, considering the, the material here. Let's take a quick look around the device. We got on the right side we got our on-off button and our volume bar here and you can reach the on-off button without any problems even the volume down button but you can't reach the volume up button without any without grabbing around the phone. Nah, I don't like this I just need to put this maybe one centimeter more down. On the up side we got a microphone, we got our headphone jack and we got an infrared port here which is nice. And on the left side we got our dual SIM tray or our combination tray, uh, our combination tray. Because you got this always in the recent time with Honor or with Huawei devices, you got the choice if you want to use it as a device with a nano SIM card and a micro, USB, uh, micro SD card for more storage or if you want to use it as a dual SIM version with a micro SIM and uh, uh, with a nano SIM and a micro SIM card so you can choose. The device comes in the version here it's a 32 gigabyte version. I assume there's also a 64 gigabyte version on the European market. Uh, ben down beneath the um, SIM card slot we got another button and this is an uh, individual um, programmable button. You can uh, choose what the button should do. Open an app, start some actions, uh, but we come later to this. I really don't like having the button on the left side. Um, I, for my taste it would have been better to put the button uh, over to the other side with the other buttons. And on the downside we got our micro USB port and we don't, we don't got stereo speakers. One is a mono speaker and one is our microphone. And on the back side we got our uh, fingerprint sensor, our 20 megapixel camera, our LED flash here, dual tone again. And I don't think the camera can record 4K video but we will have to check this out. And uh, who now thinks I know this device is correct because for my taste, the Honor 7 is just an Huawei Mate 
Mate 7 Mini. So it's just a smaller version of the Mate 7 we already know from Huawei. Uh, which is nothing bad here because uh, first impression it's a solid built device. Uh, on the front side of course 5.2 inch display, we already got this, we got an 8 megapixel front camera, we got our amber light sensors on the left side and something, uh, something nice which is now becoming more and more common these days, uh, another LED flash on the front side so that your dark selfies get a little bit more light. So this is it, this is our quick tour around the device. You now know what else is in the box. Uh, first impression of the device is nice and this is it for this video and in the next video we do, we do the installation guide. And for your information this device costs around 300 euros here in Germany or in Europe. Uh, Honor is trying to sell it for 350 but they are always are doing again and again some, some discount actions with 50 euros so I guess no one will ever buy this device for more than 300 euros. Uh, inside we got 32 gigabytes RAM, we got uh, uh, no, it's not 32 gigabytes of storage, 3 gigabytes of RAM and a Kirin 935 CPU, so octa-core or uh, twice, uh, there are two quad-core CPUs inside. We got Android 5.0 and of course Honor's Motion UI on top of it. I have not yet heard any news about when and where, uh, when there will be an Android 6.0 Marshmallow update available. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!